Welcome to the Breakfast Club Podcast. I'm Daniel DiOrio. I'm Maya Balsa. And I'm Michelle Garville. Today we are going to be talking about our favorite breakfast foods, our least favorite, and our favorite spots to go. So let's start with our favorites. All right. You Michelle, what's your favorite? Oh, oh, okay. Me? I'll go first. Yeah, I'm challenging you. My first. favorite food by far is cereal, and here's why. I love cereal because it's basically like candy that's acceptable to eat for breakfast. You could get sweet, you could get savory, you could get anything you want. And the best part is there's no cooking. So like rather yeah. than making that's eggs, true. then you got dirty pans, you know, you gotta have a spatula, you that's gotta true. make an omelet. Yeah. That's just way too much work. I like cereal because you could eat it dry, you could eat it with the milk. It's just very versatile. And yeah, I, I mean, I love cereal, I'm partial. I like fruity, uh, fr- Fruit Loops, excuse me. I could eat Fruit Loops every day. What's that's your favorite, your favorite kind of cereal? Um, Fruit Loops is your favorite. Yeah. Mine's Cheerios. I'm pretty old school, but yeah. it has to be the Honey Nut ones. Well, see, that's the great thing about cereal. If, if you want something sweeter, you have something like Fruit yeah. Loops, but also there's like, you know, other options like Cheerios and the healthy stuff. Yeah. What about you, Maya? I'd say my favorite is Cinnamon Toast. Wow. Oh, good Oh, choice. that's really good. That's I always, I, I don't even, sometimes I don't just get it for breakfast. It's like after I have lunch, mm-hmm. like I eat like, like snack. Yeah. yeah. The and best like my milk. dessert. The yeah, the, the, the best I was part. just gonna say, once you eat a cereal like that, and then you have all the sugar in the milk, just drink the milk. Yeah, oh my god, it's so good. So, what's your, what's your favorite kind of breakfast food? My favorite kind of breakfast food is Filipino food. Oh, wow. It's um, my favorite is longa. It's called longanisa. It's made out of different seasonings like vinegar, salt, pepper, garlic, and it's made out of pork. And I usually have it with rice. Um, like fun fact in the Philippines, like we have rice, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, like all meals. Do it's you have like a rice cooker. Yeah, I do. You do. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a good appliance. I feel like. Do you make it yourself? Yeah, I do. Wow. Yeah. We'll do have you to make have it for you. Your friends. Yeah. Like, yeah, I make us? some. Yeah, I make some for my uh, roommates in my oh, apartment. You have to bring some in. Next yeah. Time. Next episode. Or we'll just come some. over. Yeah. And we can yeah. Just we'll just on. drop in whenever. <laughs> Okay, so mine is a little traditional. Mine's Eggs Benedict or Eggs Florentine. And I think the only thing that's really different is I really like the spinach mm-hmm. in the Florentine. Yeah. But my favorite part is the hollandaise sauce. And it goes great with mimosa. Like, what more? Oh, what yeah. More oh, we sh- yeah. I probably should have said that's my favorite breakfast. Because <laughs> cereal uh, is, like, great. You could have every day. But, like, Eggs Benedict, that bottomless so brunch. So I don't, I don't know what Eggs Benedict is. Can so, yeah. It's two halves of an English muffin, and you either have, like, smoked salmon or ham and then poached eggs in the holiday okay. sauce. I like smoked salmon. Mm-hmm. The ham yeah. is, like, uh, So I do you get to choose which one it comes with, or is it the restaurant's usually, choice? Yeah, usually the restaurant, but usually they'll have eggs benedict and eggs, eggs florentine. So uh, if they have, like, eggs benedict, then it's usually with the ham and eggs right. florentine's with the smoked okay. salmon. Okay. I'll have to yeah. try that out. Yeah, it's both really of your good. Both of your favorite breakfast items yeah. are ones that I haven't tried before. <laughs> so, like... Obviously, it's important to start the day with a good breakfast. Yes. If there's one thing that you absolutely do not want to eat for breakfast, like maybe your least favorite breakfast food, what would you say it is? Oatmeal. Oh, that's actually <gasps> funny because I am I'm, I'm against oatmeal really? as well. Really, I just I hate oatmeal. I hate oatmeal too. It's so gooey and like yeah, I like just put some sugar mm. in it. No, yeah, no, it still tastes the same to me. Yeah, it tastes it tastes so plain. It's like I go to the cafe and then like I see oatmeal there. Yeah. Sometimes I try it and then I eat it. And I just don't want to like continue my day anymore it's just <laughs> you, it's like it's, the day's over yeah oh, it's awful i just think the texture is the, wor- the worst yeah. part about it because to me it just looks like lumpy gross yeah it's like brownish you know and it's just it's an awful color it almost like the texture almost reminds me of like a cold cottage cheese and i hate cottage oh, cheese. oh yeah. yeah yeah that's it's at the like, top of my list as well like, for what? well who made that it, I, i'm just <laughs> I can't. So you mentioned that you get oatmeal in the calf. Where's your favorite place to get breakfast on campus? Um, I I really hate calf, but then I only go there for breakfast because of the the omelet station. Yeah. Like oh, that's the only thing good. I can actually eat from the calf because mm-hmm. it's like the other breakfast food in the calf tastes like paper. It's like yeah. the, you know you know the station beside the omelet station yes. to the right or left to the to the right yeah Not near the top yeah of the yeah like yeah. the one where they serve sausages turkeys yeah. it tastes so bad, so bad. Yeah. i i can't well one time last year i went for a brunch 
on Sunday and they had like this maple bacon. Oh that was yeah. Good. yeah. No, they. O- I feel like they only have like good breakfast food on Sundays. Sundays. I know. I yeah. never wake up for it. So yeah, where like, they well, have those like f- um, chocolate fountains and yeah, stuff. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. That's pretty good. That's, yeah. pretty that's good. another problem I have with the with the on campus breakfast options is that my favorite place to eat on campus is Cozy. I live in the building oh. right above oh, it. That's yeah. Good. But the biggest complaint I have with it is they only serve breakfast until. 11 yeah. or 11 30. Yeah. Like this that. is a college campus there's going to be kids sleeping till probably 1 p.m yeah. i think they yeah. should serve breakfast at least till noon like yeah. it's not it's still the morning until afternoon as far as i'm concerned yeah. therefore they should be serving breakfast that whole time so cozy i would say is my favorite but unfortunately yeah. you know the we're times. gonna have to live with that we're gonna have to live with the times all right we talked about on campus what about off campus what's your favorite breakfast place off campus I would say Rams. Rams yeah. Deli. Oh, yeah. Rams and Best Deli, I know they're very similar. Yeah. They're right across Fordham Road. There's so many perks. It's cheap. It's convenient. It's so quick. You just go in there. And I've, I've actually been there so many times for breakfast. I actually like breakfast, eating breakfast there more than uh, other meals because I think that the it's way fresher and better quality. What do you get? I usually get a, a Hero with uh, egg and cheese. Oh, that sounds good. Another thing is, like, this is my pro tip for breakfast. I don't have a meal plan, so I'm always eating off <laughs> campus. That adds up a lot. Yeah. One thing you should do, egg and cheese on everything bagel is $2. Wow. wow. It comes out Rams? steaming hot. Yeah, wow. on, yeah, that's probably my favorite go-to breakfast yeah. thing. You don't care you can't sit there. No, you're, I don't care. I, I'll walk and eat it like a New Yorker, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's just so good for $2. And literally, you if you have $2 there. in two minutes, you could have a great breakfast at That's Rams. And I love that. You slogan that, $2, yeah. $2 two minutes. What about you, Maya? I'd say my favorite place to eat off campus for breakfast is Pete's. Uh, such a, I was so sad when it burned down. It did? Yeah. I did. I no, did not know. No, it did. They yeah. just reopened last year. They just year. reopened last year. Yeah. It, oh. It was Trump. I don't know. I was a freshman last oh, year, so yeah. I didn't know about that, but... Yeah, I'd come in, like, especially after, like, a night out, and then I'd have, like, pancakes with sausages Mm. or strawberries, and I'd be... Strawberries. Yeah, it's so good. And I live, like, right beside it in Terranova, so it's just, like, I go down and I... And you're there. Yeah, and I'm there. Do you eat there or do you take it to go? I eat there. Yeah. And I usually like eating there with friends like the morning after and we just yeah. like talk about Except like the night. When you go in the back there's all those mirrors and it's yeah. like, really rough. Yeah. Like, the first thing in the morning. Yeah. You have to look at yourself yeah. and you're like, oof. <laughs> My favorite is M and G's two, not the first one. I've you know never two? been there. Well it's right on Arthur Ave and I love it because they serve you like a little shot of OJ. Oh. If you get a meal and like you need that. Especially oh, yeah. after and I, and it comes in the cutest little glass. <laughs> I usually get um an omelet there. It's pretty good. And their bacon is always super crispy. I think that's important for me. Yeah. Yeah. Pizza's a good job too though. All you can't go wrong with it with the breakfast around yeah. here. We're spoiled We're to have very great lucky. great options. Yeah, well, that's all the time that we have for now. Many thanks to our sponsors, J&B Soda, Where the Soda Pops, and Studio FMH. We'll see you next week in The Breakfast Club.